Howdy. I hope you're doing well today. Today, I'm going to talk to you about creating a pipe network in a really fast way from a polyline. If you find the content on this channel valuable, please consider subscribing. First of all, why would you want to make a pipe network in general? Well, pipe networks are really powerful tools that can display pipe data and structure data really effectively and clearly. Now, let's look at a pipe network that's already in this drawing, and I can show you kind of how it works. Now, here is a pipe network that I have drawn into my drawing. Now, it has elevation data tied to it. I'm actually going to pull in another pipe network just to show you what that might look like. Now here is a pipe network that I have. I actually have two different pipe networks here. Now one is CenturyLink telecom line. Another is a sanitary sewer line. Now these both have elevation data on them and I can actually view them together and see if there's a potential conflict. Now you can see they're quite a bit different elevation. Another thing that I can actually do with this data is I can show it really accurately on a, a profile view. All right, so how would I go about adding a pipe network the normal way? Well, if I have the pipe network living in this drawing, like this one, for example, I can click on this Edit Network option. I can come in, set this to Null Structure or Manhole or some type of structure. I'm going to draw in a 4-inch PVC pipe. Click on this button, and I'm going to draw in a structure and a pipe here. I can draw in as many as I want. So one caveat to this is that the to draw in pipe network structures and pipes, the pipe network must be living in this drawing. Now this pipe network is actually living in a different drawing. Now you can see here, I can't actually get to the network, I can't actually get to the edit network option here. So if I wanted to do that, I have to open source drawing, go into that drawing, and then edit it from that drawing. All right, let's look at my, let's look at what I want to show you today, which is how to draw in pipe networks really quickly and effectively using polylines. All right, I want to draw a pipe network from this structure all the way down to this structure. I want that pipe network to be five feet below my final grade surface. And I don't want to have too many nodes. So how can I do that? Well, that's what I'm going to show you right here. I need to have a surface in my drawing. It could be data shortcutted in. I'm going to go to my surface panel and show you the two different surfaces that I have living in my drawing. I have an existing and a proposed surface. Next thing I'm going to do is draw in my polyline, which I've done here. Now this polyline can have curves to it. It can have as many nodes as you want. We're actually going to change the way these nodes are set up. I wouldn't stress too much about nodes being in the right or wrong slots. The next thing we want to do is we want to pull elevation data from the surface. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to type in a command, which is the command is feature elves from surface. Now this allows me to put different elevation data onto a polyline, 3D polyline, or a feature line. I'm going to select my final merge surface, and I'm going to insert intermediate grade points. Now, this is a really important checkbox to check. If I don't do this, it's just going to add it at the nodes that I have on this polyline already. There's one here and one here. Now, if I check this, it's going to add potentially hundreds or thousands of points wherever there's a grade break. And there are a lot of grade breaks on this particular line because it's pretty long. Another thing I can do is I can go relative elevation to surface. I could actually lower this or raise this and I could put in negative 5 here if I wanted this to be below that surface. However, I'm not going to do that. And the reason is because there's going to be tons and tons of elevation points and grade break points. So I actually want to get rid of those before I do this. And hit Final Merge. And here we go. Now I have you know, several hundred, if not thousands, of grade break points on here. Now how do I remove these excess points? Now, what I'm going to do to do that is type in a different command, which is weed features. 
Now this gives you several different ways that you can actually weed a feature. Now what I typically do is I just go with the defaults for a couple of times. So it has almost 400 vertices in here. I'm going to hit this the first time. It's going to remove 121 of those. This time it's going to remove 119 of them. So I basically got to the last uh, weeding factor that I can do. So I still have a lot more that I want, 137. I'm going to uncheck these. I'm going to set this to 50. I'm going to weed 106 more. And now I have a line that has roughly every 50 feet or so vertices. So there's going to be a pipe drawn between every single one of these vertices, which is why I don't want to have too many pipes on here. The next thing to do is lower my 3D polyline. I have two different ways to do this. I could use that same feature elevation from surface command. And don't check this this time so that I have all the points in the right spot. And then go to rel relative elevation from surface and go negative 5. What I actually typically do is I lower this or move this by a displacement of 0, 0, negative 5. And now this whole line was moved down vertically, negative 5. Now, how do I convert this to a pipe network? Now, there's two different ways to do this. The main way that you do that's built into AutoCAD is by doing cre create pipe network from object. The one flaw with that is that you can only create a new pipe network. You can't add new pipes to an existing pipe network. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add this on using a add-on called SIGPAC. and do poly to pipe. I'm going to add this to my proposed telecom line. And actually, you know what? Before I do this, I'm actually going to delete my entire existing network. Because if I don't do that, I'm going to have a lot of extra pipes. And it's going to be hard to pick and choose which ones I want to remove. Come here. Select these. I'm going to delete. Come in here, select, and delete. Okay, now I have a pipe network with nothing on it. Click poly to pipe. Add this to my proposed telecom line. I'm going to make this a 12 inch PVC pipe. Delete my original polyline. I'm going to do top of pipe, which is going to give me that five foot of cover that I want. If I did bottom of pipe or invert, I'd have to account for the pipe part size. I'm going to keep these at null structures, but I could switch them to manholes if I wanted to. And I'm going to hit OK. And now, here's my new pipe network. All right, so what did I actually just draw? Let me show you. All right, I'm going to now turn on my proposed surface. And let's actually see what we did here. I'm going to select my surface. I'm going to select similar. I'm going to go to Object Viewer. And now I can see my proposed surface. And if I come in here, I can actually see that proposed telecom line that I drew in five feet below my proposed surface. Another thing I can do to review my results, I can come over to my new pipe network, select similar, right click again, draw parts in profile view. I already have a profile view set up. And here we go. You can see where we are. I could right click, extract polyline. I'm going to offset this 10 feet because I have a scale of two to one on my profile. There we go. You can see how that relates. I hope you found this video helpful. If you find the content valuable, please consider subscribing. Thank you and have a great day.